I'm in the Oval Office with the President. Sir, have you an opening statement? Go ahead with your own life. Leave me alone. Mr. President, it's possible the country will be facing another fuel shortage. In a word, how would you describe this situation? <laughs> If gasoline and crude oil are rationed, what advice will you give the American people? Don't cry. And if your advice doesn't work, what should they do then? President Smarter, is there a chance we can avert an energy emergency? With a little bug, we can make this whole damn thing work out. In your opinion, where does the answer to all of our energy problems lie? Somewhere in the night. With us now is the First Lady. Mrs. Smarter, your husband wants everyone to reduce the use of electricity in the White House. Any cutbacks will probably affect many of your social functions. How do you feel about this? Not the way it be. And what will you tell Jimmy when he plays around with the thermostat in the Lincoln Room? Please don't talk about love tonight. We are back again with the President. Leave me alone. Sir, the oil companies have announced there'll be even higher prices at the pumps. Does this affect your anti-inflation efforts in any way? Honey talks, but it don't sing and dance and it don't walk. In a special meeting of Congress, you explained there might be possible foreign oil embargoes. Where will you be if the embargoes take place? Forever in blue jeans. Mr. President, you're in a lot of trouble. I'll survive. I will survive. You don't seem too sure of yourself. Why do you pretend to have all the answers? It seems there's no end in sight. If our energy problems and higher inflation get any worse, where will the average American end up? Before we end this interview, President Smarter, have you any final statement? Go ahead with your own life. Leave me alone. We close this recording with the theme of the major oil companies.